Um, this was actually a pretty good deal. I mean, there's nothing amazing, amazing here, but this is all probably one or two okay things. But this is really good flea market stuff. Uh, the guy was only charging a buck a piece, and people left it because they suck. I would have taken. I would have taken that, and I mean, if he had better stuff. But um, I wound up taking 43 records. They were a dollar piece to start off with. I didn't even check condition because a dollar piece, eh, whatever. I don't have the time right now. I'll check them later. But a dollar a piece. Um, Phoebe Snow. A lot of people don't know who Phoebe Snow is, but I do. Uh, Wednesday mornings for Simon and Garfunkel. So anyway, um, I bought 43 records. Linda Ronstadt, Emerson Lake and Palmer. And he was like a buck a piece, but then he even uh, went down. He gave me a discount. Genesis, oh, something, my ear is itchy. Hold on a second. Okay. So, um, hey, he went down. Billy Joe Glass Houses, Crusaders. I don't know who they are, but I figured, uh, why not? The Kinks, come on. The Cars, that's a good album. And it's got artwork by Vargas on it. I don't know if you know anything about art, but Vargas was a famous uh, artist. Uh, he worked for Playboy. He drew pictures of sexy uh, women paul simon paul simon simon with garfunkel uh marshall tucker band paul simon boston uh paul simon elton john uh loggins and messina mountain crosby sells nash and young before they were jerks george benson hall and oates whitney houston bachman turner overdrive crosby sells nash without young uh linda ronstadt uh, mountain again moody blue Mr. American Pie, bye bye, Miss American Pie, Moody Blues, a band called Flash, I don't know who they are, uh, Crosby Stills, I think, No Goodbyes, Daryl Hall, Daryl Hall, Crosby Stills, I'm gonna get a record player at some point, uh, who's this, well, that's the Stones, that's a Yes, that's Doobie Brothers, Renaissance, uh, another Yes, one of the classic ones, and this is Woodstock, too. There you go. And I don't know if I mentioned, uh, I was like, hey, how much is the milk crate? And he says, buy a bunch of records, I'll throw it in for free. So all this, 35 bucks. I cannot go wrong. Yard sale, too. <laughs> we, this stuff is actually really good if you have ants. Uh, they had some. We can't get it here, right? I haven't seen it. I think I think you have to get it at um, like a Home Depot. Okay. Well, we, you in Florida, get it we got the, it. The grocery store only has Raid uh, and... Yeah, yeah. Combat. In Florida, we got it. We would get it down in Walmart or somewhere or whatever, but you can't really get it around here. And this stuff really works. I mean, I don't know why I'm doing a tarot commercial, but um, you put it out, the ants eat it, they take it back to the nest, and everybody dies. This is the other thing that we got. Uh, I spent six dollars. Dollar plus five. Got this really cool Picasso book. Um, the reason I got it is because as I was flipping through it, printer sculpture. Picasso did a lot of. Uh, ceramics yeah and that prints. people don't know and a friend of ours found a piece of picasso at a, once uh, yeah. yeah once still amazing at a church sale so i just wanted to see what they have to see what's in there because yeah. there's a lot of things that there's a chance you could find you never know. Picasso ceramics. So I just want to get an idea of some of the things. I mean, you're that not going to find a Picasso painting, obviously. No. Maybe you get lucky and well, you'll I've find seen a, Picasso a print. Prints because print, because they, yeah. they made so many of them. Yeah, that's, maybe you'll find that. But like, if you see stuff like this, and I don't like know. Like this is just a piece of clay. Yeah. Look at that. I, yeah. I mean, it's. I, I know it's not worth millions or anything. It was probably worth like maybe ten thousand, twenty thousand. I don't really know. You know. Say like this, if you saw this, would you think it's Picasso? Here's some of his uh, sketches. I mean, you see something like this, you would most likely think it was Italian. You know? There's some in there that you would think were Mexico. Yeah. Because he did like bullfighter. Well, he was Spanish. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but he's Spain, not Mexico. No, I know. But I mean, you know, Spanish influence. You know, like, does this look like it could be a Picasso to you, right? So actually, a lot of the pottery doesn't look Picasso. I mean, it does look Picasso-esque, but you wouldn't think it's Picasso. Look, it's, did they? So did he paint bacon and and eggs, or is that clay? He made it out of clay. Nice. There was one with a fish on it that was like really cool. It See, I've never seen anything like laying this. Laying on a newspaper, it was really cool. Yeah. So actually, you know, I'll just leaf through the book with you so you guys can see going on. 
And something like this you could think is possibly Picasso or... But I don't know. I, you know, it's like you got to go to museums to see stuff like this or have a bunch of really good art books. Are we keeping this? Well, it's probably now, only yeah. worth like 10 bucks. Mm, whatever. Turn right on Rainbow Road. I would keep it if you want, you know. I, I could tell people I got a Picasso. Book. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, I got a Picasso. <laughs> you know. See, if somebody saw that bird, they probably would have felt some. No, look, made this is obviously a snail. Not that. It's not obviously a snail. That's a. That's not a snail. Ooh, ah. Bumpy roads. Oh, look, that has a big fracture. That took a break, and it's still there. It's like, uh -huh, I I saw a Picasso vase, but it had a chip. <laughs> uh, this is cool stuff. I figure I might as well show this stuff, right? Some of you might be interested in it. Well, this next sale is kind of boring. There's another sale? Yeah. Oh, nice. I thought there was only two we were going to. Well, I found this last one in the newspaper. She doesn't put it on Craigslist. Oh, she, she doesn't? In the She's old school. She's had, she has a sale every month. Yeah. We were telling her about the time you we went to Antique Roadshow. I had a paint. I have a painting that could be really good. So we went to the Antique Roadshow. And basically, they were useless. They just oh, were. Oh, you know what? I didn't look up the guy's name that did those paintings. What and now paintings? I forgot it. It doesn't matter. She's leaning them and they're getting scratched. That's, I noticed one of them that I like had a big at, scratch at on it. At 30 bucks a there. piece, they have to be worth about 120. Mm. Oh, he's selling sodas. Do you know what I mean? To want to deal with? Because at 30 bucks a piece, they're going to cost like 25 to 30 to ship, right? Say at least 25, right? So that's 50. Then eBay fees on 120 are 15. So that, what I said, that's like uh, 30, 55, 60, 70 bucks. So if you sell it for 120, you don't even double your money. And you, I mean, it's a good profit. It's 50 bucks. If they buy it, it's got to be an easy sell. Otherwise, now you got a big freaking stupid painting. No, actually, they were nice. I'm being mean. Um, but you have big paintings that you got to like keep somewhere. They don't sit on your shelf. You know, you can't hang them on your wall if you don't have the space. There's a lot to look at, as you can see. I mean, I'm I'm probably gonna look at this once. And uh, then I may never get the chance to look at this again. That's why I'm leafing through it. I figured you guys want to look with me. I'll try not to go too good. Like, would you think this was a Picasso? I would think that was Mexico. Yeah. I, I have don't some. Think there's sign. Maybe there's sign at the bottom. I have some. See, he does these with the fish. Those yeah, where so it's cool. like raised, so you really can't use it so much. It's probably wall it's, decoration. Yeah, it's a wall decoration. See, this, this is, like, really fun. Here's uh, kind of the, a negative re uh, image. Uh, plates. Just imagine finding this, you know, like $20,000, $30,000 richer in an instant. We most, most of the stuff that we find is... In the twenty to fifty dollar range, am I correct? Yeah. That we want to deal with. Some stuff's cheaper, you know, flea markets. When I buy CD, all the records I showed you before, maybe I have a fifteen dollar record there. Maybe. Most likely, I do not. Um, but they're good for flea markets, you know. They're good for kids who want to hear like different music, whatever. Kid gets a record player, you know, and I mean, obviously, he knows who Michael Jackson is. He probably knows who Led Zeppelin or Pink Floyd is. A lot of them don't even know who the Stones are. Or Elton Isn't John. Sad? Yeah. Uh, well, you know well, what? Makes you feel old. The weird thing, though, is like the music from that I had said something. This girl came by my crossing guard uh, post one uh, afternoon, and she was wearing a T-shirt with the Rolling Stone, you know, the, the Lips logo. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And I bet I know what you and asked I her. I said, I said, oh, do you like Mick Jagger? And she's like... No, I, I I like lips. <laughs> like, what? I said Look at this. Rolling Stone, so and she's like, "Oh, I think I've heard of them." <laughs> okay. The Rolling Stones? 
Yeah. Like, oh, isn't that uh, isn't that like a beer? Right? Rolling Stones isn't that a beer? And you mean no? You mean Rolling Rock? Yeah. Rolling Rock is a beer, right? Yeah. yeah. They would have heard of Rolling Rock, not the Rolling no, Stone. So. Okay, that's it. There, the there's the man. All right. Okay. So apparently we're going to Walmart sale. Let's see if we find anything good. Okay. Another four dollars spent because I bought a water. Um, I got weird stuff. Stuff that, that if it was cheap, it could be good. I don't know. Um, these are spice. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, these are spice jars. And they have teak tops. I bought this this spice rack some years back. And it needed one of these teak jars to, to complete it. it. It was like a 15... It looked kind of like a captain's wheel ship. So I paid only... I don't know, 35 for the spice jar. I think it's worth about 150 or so, but it's missing one spice jar. At the time, I thought it was worth maybe like 250 or three. So I went online and I bought a spice jar, and I paid like 20 bucks. <laughs> so for this, so I, these were all like I bought a water, and actually it came to 350. I said here, here's four bucks, right? So I bought these and hoping that these will be worth like 20 bucks a piece as re replacement spice jars for people who need them. Um, we got these bowl dome lids, uh, bowl mason dome lids, because her sister does canning, and they're hard to find in the store, and they're not that cheap anymore. How much are these things at the store? Five bucks? Oh, I don't know, but she's having a hard time finding them, because during COVID, a lot of people got into yeah. own canning and stuff, and, the, and I guess, do they come from China? I don't know. She Does Paul make stuff from China? Yeah, I'm not really wearing my strong glasses. No, it says made in you, but these are old ones. Yeah, these are older ones. And then the last thing I got for $4 is I got this really awesome embossed Tigger coffee mug. Um, it was a dollar, so I know I could sell it. If it's if it's worth like 25 to 30 on eBay, I'll probably just put it on eBay. If it's only worth 10 to 15, I'll take it to a flea market and I'll try and get five bucks. Maybe I'll put it on whatnot. I don't know. We'll see. You know, I never know. But, um, yep, that's it. I'm going to the store. Maybe some stuff will come to the store today. I don't know. Look at these clouds. It's going to be a rainy day, you know, so tonight and tomorrow. So, uh, I guess we're going to get lunch. What do you feel like? Curious. All right. Okay, so whatever we eat is something that we shall pass. Um, we could, we could go to a bagel place if you want, but all right. Anyway, I'm out of here. Bye. Light day of trading so far. Um, but this turned out to be pretty good because, um, we got these two figures and, and we didn't even have to give money because we did a trade in. I mean, they actually did a trade, uh, for the Chris Jericho and the Berserker. Uh, but what happened was it actually, what they wanted cost more than this. So we made money. All right, that's that's it so far in the trades. Maybe we get something else later. Tell me, Chris Jericho doesn't look like a woman. The figure. You mean the body? The figure. The face for sure. Yeah. I mean, he's he's a very handsome man. <laughs> there's there's no denying, and he has lovely hair. But yeah, I see what you're saying. It's like they took uh, what's her name's, uh, like uh, give me a lady wrestler that looks like him. Uh, I'm not sure. Well, it's like they took a lady wrestler <laughs> just took the makeup off, you know. But all right, that's it so far.